know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Breaking curses by the power of the scripture. Deuteronomy 28. These are the kind of series that the enemy does not want because he knows that when we begin to live out these particular series in our lives where curses are broken, results will come. Deuteronomy 28. Say the scriptures are powerful. You must believe in the power of the scriptures. Deuteronomy 28 tells us in verse number 45, he says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon you and pursue and overtake you until you are destroyed. So curses have power to come upon you, power to pursue, and power to overtake. To overtake means to go ahead of you and wait for you. So we need to break cases because of this particular scripture. I'm telling you cases are serious. Lift up your right hand to heaven. Say, my father, my God, I need your help to break cases. Every curse operating in my life that came upon me, may that curse be broken in the name of Jesus. I need you, Lord, by the power of of the Holy Ghost to break every curse that has come upon my life. Help me, O oh Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Curses in my family that have come upon my life, they are breaking this day in the name of Jesus. I need your help, O oh Holy Spirit, to break these curses by your power, by the word of God by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let these curses that have come upon my life be broken. I realize from this scripture that there are curses that have pursuing powers that are pursuing me. Every curse looking for me, pursuing me, that curse must be broken in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I apply the blood of Jesus upon my life to reverse to revoke, to destroy every curse pursuing me. You curses pursuing me, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any curse assigned against my life to destroy my life, that curse must be broken in the name of Jesus. Genesis 49 verse number 4, he says, Unstable as water, this was a curse being pronounced upon Reuben, Unstable as water, you shall not excel, because you went up to your father's bed, you shall not excel. Say, in the name of Jesus, my father, my God, I am asking you to forgive me of any and all sins in my life that invoke curses upon my life. Curses that have come about because of climbing into the wrong bed like Reuben. Those curses, my father, my God, I ask you to break them off my life in the name of Jesus. Just like Reuben did not excel, until now I've not been excelling because of these curses climbing into wrong beds. My father, my God, you are a merciful God. I'm crying out to you, have mercy upon me, O son of David, have mercy upon me. I made crucial mistakes. I made crucial sexual mistakes. My father, my God, the punishment is greater than I can bear. So I cry out for your mercy. I am not excelling in life because of this mistake. I realize, oh my father, my God, because of different sexual mistakes that we made, that the power of thou shalt not excel is operating all over the earth. I ask you Lord to break that power in the mighty name of Jesus. Break the 
power of thou shalt not excel. Uh, that is a curse pronounced upon Reuben. Uh, and I know it's a curse operating in our lives. Uh, so my father, my God, I need you to break the power of thou shalt not excel. Uh, sexual mistakes will not be the last chapter uh, in my life in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, I thank you for this revelation. Uh, I thank you for your word that has the power to destroy curses. Uh, I destroy that curse. Uh, I declare and I decree that I shall excel. Rage, the Lord has just opened my eyes. Look at the first three words of that scripture. What does it say? Unstable as water. That is the case. People who sleep around are unstable. There is a case of emotional instability. There is a case of financial instability because of sleeping in wrong beds. Lift up your right hand. Say, my father, my God. I ask you to break the curse of instability that is operating in my life. That is the curse that was pronounced upon Reuben, unstable as water. I have seen this curse operating in my life. My Father, my God, by the power of the word of God, I ask you to break the curse of instability in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray, clap in your hands. Oh, my Father, my God, break the case of instability i need your help to break the case of instability unstable as water you cannot excel when you're unstable lord i need stable income lord i need emotional stability i break the power of instability in the mighty name of jesus unstable relationships you can't even keep a stable relationship you can't keep a stable mindset unstable as water thou shalt not excel it is the problem is with the instability my father my god break the power of instability since that sexual encounter you've been unstable my father my god break the power of instability in the name of jesus unstable as water unstable as water thou shalt not excel i break that power of my life in the name of jesus oh my father my god i cry out unto you i cry out against instability in the mighty name of jesus my father may you change my story may i begin to experience stability in the name of jesus you have money today and no money for three weeks that's financial instability thou shalt not excel you can't excel with financial instability we need to break that power my father my god we break the power of financial instability in the mighty and precious name of jesus any power that says you are not going to excel any power that says you are not going to move forward any altar that is saying and speaking that, that you are not going to excel we attack that altar in the mighty name of jesus Jesus. We attack that power. We cast down every word, negative word that have been spoken against us, that have said that we are not going to excel. Every negative prophecy against our lives, prophecies of thou shalt not excel, we bring them down in the name of Jesus. Negative words spoken by authorities, we bring them down by the authority of the name of Jesus. Words spoken by angry spouses that you are not going to excel. Words spoken by ex girls friends uh, that you are not going to excel uh, words spoken uh, by ex-husbands uh, that you are not going to excel uh, we bring those words down uh, in the name of Jesus uh, words spoken by teachers uh, because you failed a test uh, and they said you never excel in life uh, we bring down those words uh, in the name of Jesus uh, they said you are not going to excel uh, but we bring down those words uh, in the name of Jesus uh, the power of thou shalt not excel uh, we attack that power uh, my father my God uh, pray Break that power. Break that power. Jeremiah 17. The Bible says in Jeremiah 17, verse number 5. He says, Cursed is the man that trusted in men. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in men and makes the flesh his strength. There is a curse pronounced upon people because you don't trust God, you trust God. You say, I'm going to get this contract because I know this person. God is saying, where am I in this equation? So that is a hidden curse, this one here. Cursed is the man who trusts in men. Say, my father, my God, I have trusted in men in the arm of the flesh for a long time. From this scripture, I realize I've been operating under a curse because of this scripture 
Now from today, my Father, my God, I repent of trusting in men more than trusting in God. Lord God, I repent of it. I thought men could get me to places without the hand of God. So from today, going forward, I make a commitment that never again will I trust in men more than I trust in God. My Father, my God, I come before your throne of grace asking for mercy for trusting in men more than trusting in God. My Father, my God, even some of us, we had comfort in the fact that we had a husband. We is a man. Our trust was in men. Our trust should have been in the God who can deal with the man. So, Father, today, I'm asking you, I'm begging you to break the curse of trusting in men. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, break that curse of trusting in men. Open your mouth and pray. I break the power of trusting in men. This is why men has let me down because I trusted in men. It's a curse. I will get contracts because of God, not because of men. Not because I know a politician, but because I know God. For the Bible says in Daniel 11:32, they that do not, they God shall be strong and do exploits. Not they that do not politicians, but they that do not God. Oh, my Father, my God, I repent today for trusting in men. I ask you to break the curse. Break the curse of trusting in men. In the name of Jesus. Any curse that I've contracted because of trusting in men. My Father, my God, I ask you to break that curse. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look at the last part of that scripture. The Lord has just shown me this. He says, whose heart departs from the Lord. So when you trust in men, your heart is no longer in God. Your heart is now in men. The enemy makes you trust in men. Oh, I know my uncle, he works in such and such a ministry, and he knows so, so, and so. He knows the permanent secretary. He knows this one. He knows that one. But it will get you nowhere because your trust is now in men. So your focus is in men more than it is in God. So you tend to talk to men more than you talk to God. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, I repent for my heart departing from God and focusing on men. As I am praying today, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let my heart return unto God. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands to heaven and begin to pray. Your heart must go back to God. Cursed is the man who trusts in men. May you never again have your heart depart from God because you trust in men. This thing is serious. Lord, I need your help. I need your help. I've been trusting in men more than I've been trusting in God. The curse of trusting in men must be broken off my life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The next prayer we're going to pray is Genesis chapter number 3 from verse number 17. In this particular episode here, there was a curse being pronounced upon Adam and Eve and the serpent because they disobeyed God. Look at this. He says in verse 17, Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it, Cursed is the ground for your sake. Somebody say cursed ground. Then it says, in toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Cursed is the ground for your sake. It means that cursed is where you work. There is a curse pronounced upon the place that you work. So no matter how much you work, you are working in a cursed place. Say, Father God, I thank you for opening my eyes to the reality of this scripture, which I have seen operating in my life in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost I ask you Lord to break the curse of the ground on which I work as I pray right now in the Holy Ghost clapping my hands Father God break the curse of the ground on which I work Break the curse of my workplace. Open your mouth and pray, church. Open your mouth and pray. The ground on which you operate has been cursed. It must, the curse must be reversed. The curse of the ground must be reversed. I reverse the curse of the ground in the name of Jesus. Every curse pronounced upon my workplace. That curse must be reversed. It must be reversed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus upon that ground. Many farms in Zimbabwe are not producing because those farms were cursed by the white 
white farmers before they left the people are operating on a case ground they don't understand you need to reverse the case of the ground on which you work this is why this is why Zaram Zimbabwe because the farms on which we are working and trying to produce those farms are cursed we need to reverse the case on the ground blood of Jesus blood of Jesus reverse the case on the ground there are things that have happened before time on the ground on which you work. And even now the Lord is telling me that there are certain things you need to do on this church ground here. And you begin to see results. It's just opening my eyes. Are you understanding me? So in other words, even the children of Adam came later on, Anna, Cain and Abel, and they were operating on a cursed ground. And so things happen in a place, are you understanding? And you don't understand what's happening in that place. It's because you have stepped onto a cursed ground. So you need to redeem that place by the power in the blood of Jesus, by reversing the curses of the ground on which you are working. I mean, you can just see the mess on the farms in Zimbabwe. It's a mess. I mean, it's a mess. Zimbabwe was producing for Central and Southern Africa and exporting all over. Are you understanding? Now we are having to beg other nations to give us what? To give us food. Why? Because now, after the farm invasion, are you understanding? Which were not done properly, which were not done properly, which were not done properly. After those farm invasions, the people who had been on those farms for years, they cast the ground and said that you are not going to produce anything from here. You are not going to export anything from here. People, they make a lot of noise about sanctions in America. No, 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 no. The ground on which we work has got sanctions against us. It's not about Donald Trump. The ground on which you work, I mean, what does he have to do with Paul Grimm? No, come on, let's open, Zimbabwe, open your eyes. It's not about Donald Trump. It's not about the Queen of England. There is a curse on the ground on which we are operating. Van Vesa ka farwa forex waka farama business waka farama industry and they left the country. Do you think they were blessing Zimbabwe as they were going to the airport? They were cursing. You will never produce anything in, in this industry. There are industrial properties that have been locked up and people just left. They just left. And putting a new law that says you have to re-register your company otherwise you forfeit this. It does not change the cases on the ground. This thing must be hit from a serious spiritual perspective. Not just sitting down and changing laws. That's not how you change the situation. Are you understanding me? And then now, you, you go and you lease an empty building that was cursed. And you say, I want to start business. Whenever you start a business, you go into a place and you lease it. Have you asked yourself, what happened to the people who were there before you? Viva, There are houses that are always being leased again. People always get, they get into a house, they rent the house. Hello? And they don't walk out of that house with their goods. Their goods, they walk out with the deputy sheriff after they fail to pay rent. Then you say you come in the There are houses of poverty that people rent. Have you redeemed the house in which you stay? The business that you are facing. Have you redeemed it? The job that you are, the seat you are sitting on. I mean, you are a new boss. What happened to the former boss? He was fired. A case pronounced upon that seat that whoever take this job because I was ill treated, whoever takes this job shall not succeed. Then you come and you sit on the same desk that was cursed, you never reversed it. Life is spiritual, and yet many try and fight it with education. Say, My Father, my God, any case pronounced upon my workplace that curse must be reversed in the name of Jesus. Whoever has cursed my workplace, that curse goes back to you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray seriously. Listen to this. The Lord said to me, he said, a person is married, a man is married. He has issues with his wife and he leaves that woman a divorce. The man walks away. Obviously, she's not speaking in blessing. Is that true? This is it. Right. Then you come there looking all nice with lips, lips and fingertips. You hook up with this man. Did you deal with the curse pronounced by the former wife? You just saw a vacant. You just saw a vacant. He says, he, he says, he says have you broken the curse spoken by that woman that I don't care who marries to you? Can you see you've got a lot of work to do? 
And sometimes maybe you don't divorce, but your children are cursed. from jilted lovers. Aya, thank you, Lord. Do you know your boyfriend that you, you, you didn't go to prom with, that boy has spoken some dangerous things over you and you're experiencing the problems today. No matter how beautiful you are, no one will marry you. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, there are cases pronounced by former lovers upon my life. I ask you, Lord, by your power, by your grace, to break these cases. People whose hearts I broke, people who I disappointed, people who I made promises that I didn't fulfill, and in turn they curse me. Oh, my Father, my God, have mercy on me. Break these curses. Open your mouth and pray. Even if you're right or if you're wrong, it doesn't matter. You need to break these curses in the name of Jesus. They said you'll never excel. You'll never be happy in marriage. You have even forgotten about the relationship, but the curse is still operating in your life. Oh, my Father, my God, I need this case to be broken. Some cases of barrenness come from former lovers. Open your mouth and pray. I need you, Jehovah God, to break these cases. Cases by former lovers. Cases by disappointed former lovers. We break them off your life. Cases pronounced upon you by jilted lovers in the name of Jesus. The curses they said you never produce anything. We break that curse in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. There are curses pronounced upon people by mothers-in-law and fathers-in-law because you are not the person they wanted their son to marry. So they look at you and they cannot say anything good. They are speaking rubbish about you every single day, cursing you. You are looked at as the wrong man for, the, for their daughter. You are looked at as the wrong woman for their son. And no matter how much the two of you love each other, because of the curse of the in-laws, this thing is serious. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father God, in Africa, in-laws, they despise sons-in-law, daughters-in-law. They curse. They curse the marriage. They curse the children. They curse the businesses. They curse the finances. My father, my God, we live in such a continent where in-laws, they hate the son-in-law, they hate the daughter-in-law, and they are cursing day in and day out. Until now, I have not reversed these curses. My life has been stagnant and frustrated because of these curses. Now I pray in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let this Curses pronounced upon me to destroy me. Let them be destroyed. Say, Father God, curses pronounced upon my life by disappointed lovers. There are strong cases. There are passionate cases. They continue to curse. No matter where I go, no matter what I achieve, jilted lovers continue to curse my life. So my father, my God, I need you to break the curse of jilted lovers, the curse of former lovers, the curse of jilted lovers, the curse of frustrated ex-lovers. It must must be broken. Open your mouth and pray aggressively. Hallelujah. You know what the deception is? You think it is because it was a long time ago. The curse is over. No. Because that person, even when they hear someone who's called by your name, they are now reminded that girl left me. And what do they do? They start cursing again. Say, my father, my God. Today, under this strong anointing, I need 
to break the curse of disappointed former lovers in the name of Jesus my father my God I call on the fire of God to break these passionate curses in the name of Jesus please open your mouth and cry out hallelujah even if you are married it does not exempt you from what I'm saying in fact the fact that you are married angers the person even you know what I was seeing while we were praying? I was seeing somebody with tears crying, cursing, with passion. Lift up your hand. Say, every curse pronounced upon me with passion and hatred from former lovers. Whether I know about it, I don't know about it, I remember it, I don't remember it. All such curses, they need to be broken in the name of jesus my father my god i ask you to release your power to break such cases open your mouth and pray the lord has just also opened up my eyes on another issue this issue is also very serious when we do build the dealings in business there are people we disappoint and because we disappoint them or we we, we we break our promises or we don't say what we're supposed to do or whatever happens listen to this the people in business, they begin to say, that is a curse pronounced upon your life. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father God, any curse pronounced upon my life because of previous business dealings, disappointing business associates that have now cursed me, any such curses, I ask you, Lord, to break those curses in the name of Jesus. Now watch this. This also applies to you are working very well on a job, you left the job, you got a better job, and you just left. And your boss is started by begging you, please stay. No, please. Is there nothing we can do? He said, No, 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 no. Me, I'm going. He said, oh, okay, no problem. You see, see, those are cases. Say, Father God, cases pronounced upon my life by former employers even a long time ago i asked those cases to be broken cases pronounced upon me by disappointed business associates i need those cases to be broken in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray these things are important can i can i be absolutely honest with you go and write a list of former lovers that you disappointed and begin to deal with these issues one by one. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Because the curse of a former lover has got passion behind it. You need to sit down and write these things down and pray seriously about them and break them one by one mentioning the name. Please take what we're saying here seriously, church. This thing is serious. Are you understanding me? Because sometimes, you know, men, they don't understand. The moment that you sleep with a woman, you are saying you are my wife. You know, not that, ah, you know what? I know that she's going to No, she takes it very seriously. And women, they are very, very emotional. And the cases they pronounce on you are very, very serious. Because they are saying, you used me. And you just left me. And you are in Wopere And then they see you driving around in your car with someone else. Each time they hear your name. And there are some of you you know. If you know for sure, go to the altar. If you know for sure, I I beg you, go to the altar. Because there are then people who now take it serious. Anotos of Famba now. Anotos of Famba. Abana umne umbo nyarap. Anotos of Kufambira. Kutino. Dine Mariango. Yakarova na ningi. All I lost money because of this person. Maybe I'm not for a moon. But both of you did a transaction. You made the mistake. And both of you lost. You got a hang on to Andrew Mutirajotis. 
I need you to go to the altar. This thing is very serious. I'm telling you the truth, church. Because those people, they are still cursing you until now. And they are not going to stop. Each time they hear, and then there are people who are not going to say, but they are square it. Hey, hey, Lord, help us. You know you owe people money you don't want to pay. And the people, they are busy kissing you. And you know when, you know when they kiss you? Maybe time your school fees. Other bad fees. Hanachi? Hana fees. Guess who's the first person they think of? It's you. And you think they are pronouncing a blessing. If they phone you, you don't answer. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Lord, help us. Lord, help us. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, have mercy on me. I disappointed so many people. I understand from today's teaching that those people are pronouncing a curse upon my life. Lord God, I know many of them I can't make amends with them. I need you, Lord, by your mercy to break the curses that are being spoken today, that are being spoken over my life by these individuals. Open your mouth and begin to break. We know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Destiny